What is going on everyone? I hope you are all having a fantastic day. So a few weeks ago we did a little tournament of banks where we looked at some of the best banks that we've reviewed here on the channel and put several of them head to head. And while you all seem to love this Versus series, one thing that a number of you mentioned is that you would love to see Ally Bank go head to head with some of these other popular options. So today we're going to be continuing our Versus series and we'll be putting Ally Bank head to head with Varro Bank. So if you want a quick breakdown of everything that Ally and Varro Bank have to offer, how these features directly compare to each other, and what my personal pick is between these two banks, then be sure to stick around to the end of the video. As always, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, share this with someone who you think could get value out of this content as well, and let's jump right into it. Alright, as always with these Versus videos, I won't be doing a super in-depth review on each of these platforms, but if you do want a really close-up look at either of them, then there are separate reviews on both Ally Bank and Varro Bank on my channel, so definitely go ahead and check those out. Now, that being said, in the short time that it's been since I did both these independent reviews, as well as the other Versus videos just a few weeks ago, a lot has changed with both of these accounts, especially in the way of their interest rates. So let's do a quick rundown of the features that each of them offer, so that we can directly compare them to each other. Then I'll let you know which one I would pick, and more importantly, you'll be able to make an educated decision on which one is best for you and your financial goals. So let's start off with one of the most popular reviews here on the channel, and that is with Varro Bank. Now, as usual with these online banks, you're going to have that no fee structure, which means no monthly maintenance fees, no foreign transaction fees, no minimum balance fees, and none of that crap. And you're also going to get access to their network of 55,000 ATMs, which makes it completely free to withdraw cash in a pinch. Not only are you able to withdraw cash with Varro Bank, but you're also able to deposit cash, which is one of the biggest advantages that we've seen from Varro Bank because a lot of competitors just don't have this feature. And this is done through the system called Green Dot Reload that allows you to deposit cash into your Varro Bank account at over 90,000 retail locations like CVS, Walgreens, and a bunch of others. So whether you think you'll use this feature or not, this is definitely a huge thumbs up for Varro just because a lot of competitors, Ally Bank included, give you no option for depositing cash. Beyond that, you're also going to have access to their early paycheck feature, which again, we have seen from some competitors, but this is definitely a nice option if you do need it and you're going to get some cashback offers via their debit card although i will be completely honest with you these are not as great as some of the other banks that we've looked at you're also going to have varro to varro which is their peer-to-peer -peer transfer system like venmo or cash app but this honestly isn't that great in my opinion because in order to send or receive money to or from someone you have to have both people on the varro platform whereas ally bank and some other competitors have actually partnered with a peer-to-peer -peer transfer app called zelle that allows you to send or receive money to pretty much any bank account in the US, but more on that later. All right, so that's a really quick rundown of Varro Bank, but the place that they really put their name on the map is in their crazy good interest rates. And this is actually the area where Varro, Ally Bank, and a lot of other competitors have seen some serious changes in the past few weeks. So if you remember back to my original review on Varro Bank, which was just a few months ago, and even the other Versus videos that we did a few weeks ago, Varro's interest rate used to be 1.21% for the lower category and 2.81% for the higher category. However, just recently, their lower lower interest rate dropped from that 1.21% all the way down to 0.81%, which is still pretty good, but this is a pretty substantial change in my opinion. Now, if you're confused by these categories at all, or if you just don't remember how they work, basically with Varro Bank, you're going to earn 2.81% interest, which is fantastic. However, you do need to meet three main criteria in order to qualify for this, which is making five Varro purchases on your Varro debit card, maintaining an account balance below $10,000, and receiving at least $1,000 in direct deposits every single month. So even if you meet those purchase and income requirements, you're only going to earn that 2.81% on your first $10,000. And whether you're beyond that or you don't meet the other criteria at all, you're now only going to earn 0.81% on all of the rest of your money. If you're still a little confused about the different categories, make sure you check out my full review on Varro Bank. But I just wanted to make it clear that now that lower interest rate has fallen from 1.21% all the way down to 0.81%. So overall, this is a pretty fantastic option and one of the most popular reviews that I've done here on the channel. However, as always, I try to keep these reviews as unbiased as possible, so I definitely want to mention some of the cons of this account. First of all, there's no joint accounts, which doesn't really affect me at the moment. However, I know this is something that a lot of you are looking for in your bank account because maybe you and your spouse want to have a bank account together. But unfortunately, this currently is not an option with Varro Bank. I've also noticed that there's no wire transfer options into something like an investment account, which again, might be a non-event for most of you. But if you are someone like myself, who 
who is constantly moving money in and out of an investment account, then this is definitely a huge drawback because it can take a lot of time to get money from your Varo account to your investment account like TD Ameritrade or Charles Schwab. And lastly, and this one might make me sound a little bit old, but there's no paper checks. No, God, please, no, no. Now, depending on your age, this is either a total deal breaker or you're saying, why the heck would I even need a paper check? But for those of us who do occasionally need to still write a personal check to someone, this is definitely a huge drawback because currently there's just no way to get a paper check from Varo. That said, this is definitely something that would be easy for them to add in the future, so definitely keep an eye out for that if this is something that is a huge drawback for you. All right, so moving on to Ally Bank, they're also gonna have that no fee structure. However, I will mention that they do currently have a $25 overdraft fee, but as I mentioned in my original Ally Bank review a few months ago, I really think that they're really upfront about all of their fees that they do charge, and all the regular fees like monthly maintenance fees and foreign transaction fees are non-existent, so definitely nothing to worry about there. With Ally, you're also gonna get access to 43,000 free-to-use ATMs, and they will even reimburse you up to $10 per month for off-network ATM fees. So even if you can't find an Ally Bank ATM near you, at least you know that you can get some of that money back because if that off-network ATM does charge you a fee, then Ally Bank is gonna reimburse you up to that $10 each month. Two of my favorite features with Ally Bank is that they offer a buckets feature that allows you to divide up all of your savings into up to 10 different categories, depending on what goals you're trying to save for. They also have a booster savings feature that will allow you to transfer money either from your Ally checking account or some other external account into your Ally Bank savings account, which is an amazing feature that prioritizes paying yourself first and setting that money aside every single month on a regular basis. Now, as I mentioned earlier, Ally Bank is partnered with Zelle, which is a third-party peer-to-peer transfer app. And what this means is you're basically able to send or receive money to pretty much any bank account in the United States, which is way more convenient than not only Varo system, but even other third-party apps like Venmo or Cash App, because with those, you typically have to transfer money into or out of that account separately in order to get it into your bank account. Now, on your savings account, you're currently gonna earn 0.6%, which is a little bit lower than it used to be, but this is kind of a common theme that we've been seeing across the board recently. But you're also gonna earn 0.1% on all of your checking account money, which isn't a huge deal, but definitely an added perk for sure. And actually, if you have over $15,000 in your checking account, then you're able to earn 0.25%, which is insane for a checking account. All right, so, so far these accounts are relatively similar, and if anything, Varo is coming out slightly ahead just because they have a slightly better interest rate. However, Alice features just keep on going, and they're also going to give you access to CDs, money market accounts, mortgages, auto loans, and even their very own investing platform. Not to mention they have 24-7 customer service that is really fantastic, and while Varo's customer service is pretty good, I would say that I would definitely give this category to Ally Bank. Now, one of the biggest cons with Ally Bank that is kind of agreed upon across the board is that their transfers can take up to three days to process, which is definitely a huge drawback in certain situations, but might not be a huge deal for you. However, I will mention that this is one of those things that they can probably fix pretty easily down the road, just like the paper checks with Varo Bank. So I'm really hoping that they change this in the future. There's really no excuse for a fully online bank to have such slow processing times in 2020. So this is definitely a priority for them to fix down the road. So before I tell you which of these banks I would personally choose, let me know which one you see the most value in down in the comment section below and whether you would pick Ally Bank or Varo Bank. Overall, I personally feel that Varo is going to give you a more modern banking experience just because they are more of a technology company, if you will. However, Ally Bank has been around for a lot longer and has had more time to expand the services that they offer and improve upon the most basic online banking features. I mean, they really pioneered the fully online banking model, so they definitely have an advantage in that regard. So because of all of the other features, including the CD, money market accounts, loan options, and the integrated investing platform that is actually pretty easy to use, I personally would give this battle to Ally Bank. Now, I know that Varo offers a significantly higher interest rate, especially if you're looking at that 2.81%. So if that is something that is concerning to you and you would qualify for that higher interest rate, then that is definitely something that you wanna keep in mind when making your decision. And as always, what I feel is the better option is not necessarily the better option for you. So definitely do your own research and let me know which of these banks you decide to go with down in the comment section below. And while neither of these banks are currently offering any kind of sign-up bonus, if you do want to throw in another option, then there is a link down in the description that'll give you $50 for free when you sign up for SoFi, and this is definitely a great option that you might want to compare to either Varo Bank or Ally Bank as well. If you haven't seen my other Versus videos that we've done or the other bank reviews that we've done on this channel, then definitely go ahead and check out that playlist as well, and let me know what other banks you'd like to see me review in future videos. As always, thank you so much for your time. Make sure you hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and of course, take it easy, and I'll see you in the next one.